Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to stop back at my channel. Okay, so today here I am going to be making the slow cooker chicken tortilla soup. Um, super, super easy. I already made it before. It's so easy. You just need your chicken. You need your um, chicken broth. I have two cans here. These are Walmart brand. Um, I do mine a little bit different. These are fresh tomatoes. They are not canned tomatoes. I'm putting fresh in. What I did is I put some Mexican oregano in there and just grinded some pepper in there and just let it sit for a little bit. Um, I like onions in mine, so I'm putting the onions and the celery. I also have corn here, and then we have some potatoes. My husband loves the potatoes in there. This is the simplest, simplest recipe to make. All you do is actually dump in and leave. That's it. That's all you do. But I do um, cook my chicken whole. This one has a bone in it with skin on the other side. It gives your stock a little bit more tastiness to it, I feel. So this is what I'm going to do. I will just show you in one second. I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see. Inside. So we are going to begin the soup journey. The first thing I am going to do is put a little bit of oil in here. This is a little bit of garlic oil that my husband made. So we're going to put that in. I'm going to turn this on to soup stew on the Power Pressure Cooker XL. I'm just hitting the soup stew button one time. We will be adding the celery. Now that's just coarsely chopped. It's like not rough chop. And then this is the onion. This is just white onion. It's a half of a medium sized onion. Um, so that goes in. I like to cook up my vegetables a little bit before um, I add my chicken. I'm just going to stir these around just a little bit. Not the real dramatic, it only takes a couple of minutes. I'm not going to brown them or anything. I just want to get a little bit warm before I add that chicken. The next thing that goes in will be my um, cut up tomatoes. Again, these are vine ripened tomatoes. They're not from the can, they're fresh tomatoes. So I am going to be adding them. And they, again, had uh, pepper and um, Mexican oregano. They had uh, this Mexican oregano. I buy, this jar is an old jar. I buy a big bag of this at the health food store, so. So now I'm gonna add in my corn. This is, I got this bag of steamed corn. Um, they were 10 for 10, for 10. so I, it's the bird's eye. So it's steamed corn, I didn't steam it. I'm just gonna add this in. So it's 10 ounces of corn. I mean, you don't have to add that much. I just really, really love the corn and it gives it a little bit of texture to me. The next thing I'm gonna be adding is our um, potatoes. I just cut them in half. It's a can from the Dollar Tree. The next thing that I do is I add my, my chicken broth. And again, this is just from Walmart. This is a 14.5 ounces. I have two cans of these. So I will be adding both of them. You're supposed to add one quart um, to it. So I also add, now I'm gonna add it, fill up the can with the water. And I'm adding the water to it. There you go. I'm gonna mix this around just a little bit. Okay, so I'm mixing up. Now I just added the slow cooker seasoning packet. I added that. Last thing I am gonna do is add my chicken. Now again, I'm using one bone in with skin on and then two pieces of boneless, skinless chicken thigh. Okay, guys, it's simple as that. You just put it all in, and I will be back to show you how it turned out. Okay, guys, my soup is finally done. Here it is in the bowl. So we have cheese here. I cut up some a nice avocado. We have some non-sour cream, which is, is our Greek, oh, can you see that? Greek yogurt we don't use sour cream we have our chips for the top of it and I got some jalapenos so I'm gonna fix it up and show you 
Okay, guys, so here is my soup all fixed up with the fixings that I like. I didn't put any jalapeno in there. Maybe I should have. But, all right. Okay, guys, I'm going to give it a try. We had this before. We really, really loved it. So, let's see how it is. Mmm. That is really good. It's actually really good with the avocado. It tastes really good. Mm-hmm. Well, guys, if you guys get to the Dollar Tree and get some, because I saw a couple packets still today. When I was out, let me know if you make it. And like I say, somehow, some way, I have an amazing day. You make your day amazing, and together, friends, we'll have an amazing day. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.